I'm Ivan Krečak and I work as a hematologist in General Hospital Šibenik, Croatia and I will uh, talk about the importance of uh, high platelet creatine patients with polycythemia vera. So polycythemia vera is a myeloid neoplasm which is characterized by increased blood viscosity due to overproduction of red blood cells which then causes high cardiovascular risk in these patients. So uh, this uh, increased blood viscosity is usually measured through hematocrit levels and uh, a randomized clinical trial has shown that uh, maintaining the hematocrit level below 45% lowers the cardiovascular risk in these patients. In addition, patients with uh, polycythemia vera which are uh, at high risk of thrombosis, those are patients who are older than 60 years of age and who have a history of prior thrombosis are treated with cytoreduction. reduction. So despite these treatments, there is still a substantial risk of thrombosis in these patients. So uh, PV patients often have a higher platelet count, which is a uh, um, disease feature in these patients, but uh, even though the normalization of platelet counts is listed as one of the uh, ELN response criteria and is used throughout the clinical trials, it does not seem that um, normalization of platelet count leads to a lower thrombotic risks in PV patients, which is something counterintuitive because we all know that uh, PV, uh, platelets are in the center of the pathogenesis of thrombosis in uh, several clinical scenarios. So uh, in our study, we aim to analyze whether high platelet grit, uh, this is a measure of total circulating platelet mass in PV patients, may be associated with a higher thrombotic risk in these patients. So we uh, collected the data from uh, several hospitals, uh, retrospectively collected the data from several hospitals in Croatia and calculated the baseline platelet grit level. This is a measure, uh, as I said, a total circulating platelet mass, which can be easily calculated using two variables. These are total platelet count and mean platelet volume. A mean platelet volume is a, is a bar marker which uh, measures the volume of the platelets and uh, it is known that PV patients have uh, more immature uh, activated platelets in their circulations who are larger. Uh, so at baseline the higher platelet grit uh, correlated with older age and with the history of thrombosis. These are all high risk features in PV patients and more importantly a high platelet grit uh, correlated with uh, uh, more frequent uh, thrombotic events and deaths during the follow-up. So uh, this was even more pronounced in PV patients who uh, who had a, a higher uh, leukocyte counts and higher hematocrit, uh, suggesting that these complex interactions between different blood cell count components are uh, crucial for the thr thrombosis, promotion of thrombosis in PV patients. So even though uh, this is a preliminary study, uh, which should be confirmed in other studies, uh, we would like to explore whether serial measurements of this platelet grit may uh, you may be used to tailor treatments in PV patients uh, similarly to hematocrit levels and whether this uh, maintaining the platelet crit, crit below uh, some uh, levels can be used to uh, improve patient outcomes in PV, in PV. So there are some recent evidence suggesting that uh, PV, that MPNs, patients with MPNs, particularly essential thrombocytemia, which is a related disorder, has a, have a uh, suboptimal platelet inhibition in, um, due to a high, high platelet turnover. So uh, we would like to see whether a measurement of platelet creep that is a total circulating mass which could be active during, these, uh, during the pathophysiological process of thrombosis could be uh, regulated with more site reduction or more aggressive platelet, antiplatelet therapies which could uh, improve the patient, patient outcomes in the future.